Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a bun and I've started this just by putting her hair up into a standard ponytail and then you're going to need some type of a bun maker to do this and this is the one we have. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply. It was pretty inexpensive. If you don't have one, you could use a rolled up sock. I would suggest finding something that is close to the color of hair you're working with so that it doesn't show through. So to begin, I've just ran all of the hair in the ponytail through that bun maker and I've got it up to the top. And then I'm going to start by grabbing a small strand of hair. And I'm going to twist this hair up and then just bring it over the top of this bun maker and then up through the middle. So I've basically just wrapped it around the edge of that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of hair from the ponytail in with that twist. Twist it up again and wrap it around. You want to get these twists pretty close together so that the bun maker doesn't show through. And you want to take fairly small strands so that you can have enough hair to last all the way around the bun. You just kind of need to judge as you're going how much hair you have to make sure that you don't run out. Her hair is damp here, which really helps keep the flyaways down. You could also use gel or pomade if you would rather. So even with her hair wet, I am getting a few pieces popping out. I wouldn't worry about them for now. You can always fix them later with bobby pins. So the further along I'm going with this, it is getting a little more difficult because the hair in the ponytail is kind of in the way. And the solution we have found is to have her just kind of hold it up out of the way and to the side as I'm working. If you don't have anybody to help you hold it, if your little girl is too little, you could always just clip it out of the way onto the top of her head. Okay, so I'm at the point where I'm adding in the very last strand. And for this one, I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times until I run out of length. So depending on the length of hair you're working with, you just want to kind of watch and see how much you have left. When you get about to this point, I could wrap it under one more time, but then I'm going to have the end sticking out through the middle, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to take it and twist it and then wrap it around the base of that bun and pin it into place. So now that I have that end pinned in, I'm just going to kind of go through the bun and make these look a little more even. If you need to spread them apart or push them together, you can do that. And then you can also fix the pieces that are poking out if they're bothering you. So like this one here, you can just kind of take a bobby pin and just hide it. And this bun usually stays pretty secure just the way it is because it's wrapped all the way around so it's really not going anywhere. But if you're worried about it, you can add a couple more bobby pins to each side. So that is the finished bun. I think it looks pretty cool. You are getting sleepy. Very, very sleepy. You will share this video. You will thumbs up this video. You will comment on this video. You will pin it. You will Facebook this video. <laughs>